multitude, blind Bartimaeus, the son of Timel, sat by the road begging. And when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Then when many warned him to be quiet, but he cried out all the more, Son of David, have mercy on me. So Jesus stood still and commanded him to be called. Then they called the blind man and said to him, Be of good share, rise, he is calling you. And, throw, and throwing aside his garment, he, he rose and became Jesus and came to Jesus. Amen. So Jesus answered and Jesus answered and said to him, What do you want me to do for you? The blind man said to him, Rabbi, that I may receive my sight. Then Jesus said to him, Go your way, your faith has made you well, made you well. And immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. That was the case of blind Bartimaeus. He was a man that was desperate for change. Now we're going to talk about what blindness is. Praise the name of the Lord. Blindness is a state of, of uh, how do I say, lack of disability. You are not seen. You are blind. You are not seen. Others see the light that you are in darkness. Perpetual darkness. You are, the, the, the day is the same to you. The night is the same to you. You are in darkness. Black Bartimaeus was a man like that. He was in darkness. I do not care. I don't care how many, I don't care in what area of your life that you are in darkness. I don't care what has held you bound. I don't care what it is, it is that is troubling you. You can be blind in the area of your marriage. You can be blind in the area of your resting. You can be blind in any other area. But I tell you, Jesus Christ is passing your way this hour yeah. and he's going to change your situation for good in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Now, Black Bartimaeus was in such a state. Now he was a man. The Bible did not tell us what happened to him. The Bible did not tell us if he was born with such ailments. We don't know if he was born blind. The Bible did not record that in the case of blind Bartimaeus. But he said he was blind. That, there, that means there was a place in his life that he was limited. There was a place in his life that he could not see. There was something in his life that made him not to be like other people. But he was a man that was desperate for change. He was a man that said, this situation, I do not like it. What you do not like, you cannot stay with it. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Now we get to the second uh, verse. It says, He was, he sat by the roadside begging. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. He sat by the roadside begging. His situation, his circumstances has pushed him to a corner. Now because he's blind, he's limited to the things he can do. Now he has to live off other people. He has to live off the hand of other people to make a living. He cannot live freely. He cannot be independent. He has to be with other people. He has to beg for it a living. He has to beg to survive. Without begging, he will die a, a, a hungry man. He will die a stout man. He will die a punished man. But blind Bartimaeus says, this hour, I do not like this thing. Praise the name of the Lord. Now I do not care. I come to tell you this hour. I do not care what your situation has, proved, has pushed you into. That you think you cannot. I do not care what the situation is saying to you. And you say, oh, I cannot live any other way. I have to, I have to beg. I have to, I have to call other people. I have to, I have to do the thing that people like. I have to please other people to get my own. My residence is not, I have to use other people's paper. I have to, I have to think about other people. Praise the name of the Lord. But this hour, it will not be your, it will not be your Lord in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. But it's like, it is your limitation that is going to give birth to your desperation. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. It is your limitation that is going to give birth to your desperation. Until you begin to see your limitation as a fault. Until you begin to say, oh, this thing is not the way it is. You are not going to be desperate. Praise the name of the Lord. He said, good things come to them that wait. Good things come to them that that acknowledge that this area, this area of my life is bad. Now I need the good one. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the wonderful name of the Lord. Hallelujah. He said you must have to be provoked by your situation to want to do something about it. it. There is something that people do because they are blind in what they can do. They have to live off other people. Praise the name of the Lord. He said it could be that your situation. Amen. I don't care what the situation has made you to believe about yourself. Amen. Amen. Am I talking to a living witness in the house today? Am I talking to a living soul in the house today? The situation might make you believe something else 
about yourself, but that's not what God calls you. So circumstances can make you think that there is no going back. That there is no way that you can ever climb to the other side. There is no way that I can ever be the mother of a child. There is no way I can ever have my residence. There is no way I can ever birth my dream. There is no way I can ever actualize my dream. But I tell you, children of God, I tell you, man of God, I tell you, daughters of Zion, that is not your portion in the name of Jesus. Jesus. 